Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has had a very busy week signing legislative bills. On Wednesday, DeSantis signed a bill that focuses on transparency of prescription drug prices. You literally will charge someone a copay that's higher than the cost of the drug? How is that something that's fair? If there was transparency on that, you would never get away with that. The only reason they get away with it is because it's opaque. On Tuesday, DeSantis signed an anti-environmental, social, and governance bill known as ESG. They have a vision. Uh, this vision is not a vision that usually can win elections. And so they want to go around that process and they want to use economic power to impose this agenda on our society. And, and we think in Florida, uh, that is not going to fly here. On Monday, he signed three law and order bills. One of the legislations ensures that child rapists are at least sentenced to life in prison. Another limits pre-release for those facing, quote, dangerous crimes, and the third raises fentanyl penalties. You do need to hold the people accountable who are dealing this stuff, and they need to be treated like murderers. This week, DeSantis is appointed board at the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, formerly known as Reedy Creek, has countersued Disney after the entertainment company sued DeSantis, claiming that he's trying to hurt their business. And speaking of Disney, an article from American Greatness claims, quote, shortly after announcing it is suing Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Disney blocked pedestrian access to and from the U.S. Armed Forces' flagship resort in the continental U.S. And this is all happening as DeSantis is expected to announce a run for president sometime in the next few weeks, although the exact date is still unknown.